before we jump right into this video I want to go ahead and explain to you guys a little bit about the Xbox one compatibility as you can see um, I'm playing an Xbox 360 game. Xbox One is now backwards compatible. This was announced June 15th this morning at E3. As you guys can see, it gives the old Microsoft startup. And it also grabs your Xbox 360 data if you have ever played on the Xbox 360. I actually haven't. So the Xbox One backward compatibility is available at no additional cost. So you don't have to pay to play the games you already own. Uh, PlayStation, they have PlayStation Now where they charge your subscription fee. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you have any game add-ons, achievements, gamer score, game saves, that'll all be imported. You'll be able to keep all of that. Uh, and it's also cool because your Xbox One game DVR screenshots, that all still works with these old 360 games. And my cookies are done. Always interruptions with me. Um, you're also able to play multiplayer with your friends no matter what console you're on, as you can see pop up. And if you have the digital games and the disc games, I'll mention that a little bit later. But yeah, you can use that too. So, this works. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Forget all of this. Blah, blah, blah. Let's find out what we can get into. I'm like, I know you probably right though. Christian Bale, I'm a psycho. I'm also trying to be Michael. Myers, Jordan, or Jackson. Accept the version of rapping. You a virgin to rapping. See you cocky on the internet. I'm a What's up YouTube? It's your boy Easy, also known as the Kanye West of video gaming. And as I'm being interrupted at the beginning of my intro by my girlfriend coming home, but this is perfect because she plays a big part in this Xbox One backwards compatibility. So I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for this woman. Now don't mess me up anymore because I don't want to hear any background noise. Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. Anywho, you know, Mr. One Take, that's me. Let's get back to this Xbox One backwards compatibility. So basically how this works is if you have a game on the 360, it will be able to play the 360 disc, whether you downloaded it from the marketplace on the 360 or if you actually have the disc. But here's the trick. The list for this tutorial or for the backwards compatibility at the moment is very small. And if you guys want to know what the list is, check down in the description below. Please do that, and you will be able to see every game that is available at the moment to play that's backwards compatible. And it's a very terrible selection of games. The reason why I mentioned my girlfriend is because it's Viva Pinata, as you can see, and it's simple. If you have the disc, all you do, pop in the disc and it install like normal. I was confused at first, wondering if it was going to pop up. Now, if you have the game... um on the Xbox 360 marketplace you downloaded it then it will pop up in your queue to be ready or usually what happens is if you were to go to your games and go all the way to the right there's usually a list of games that are ready to install it'll pop up there so at the moment I'm downloading Viva Pinata it's that simple you put the disc in but it has to be on that list so hopefully the list gets bigger I'm hoping for like uh Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3. So that's what I'm looking for and hoping for. But other than that, guys, this was very simple. So if you guys just didn't know what was going on or how to get to work, like me, I tried to put in MW2, assuming that I would be able to play it. And, of course, you can. It just pops up with the notification saying, please put in a a CD or Blu-ray disc so, or actual playable game. And as you guys can see, the ready-to-install list finally came up. Xbox is experiencing problems. But basically, if you have a game from the 360 Marketplace, it'll pop up here for ready to install. So I hope this helps you guys who were wondering how to get it to work and wondering what's going on with it. Um, I'm also, once this game finished installing, I'm also going to show you guys a quick little brief uh, clip of me actually playing Viva Pinata, although I don't play it. But just to let you guys know that it actually does work. But in the meantime, I'm Easy, also known as the Kanye West of Gaming. Please call me Yeezus, or Yeezus, if you will. You see the little play on names. But anyways, man, I'm out. Have a good one.